Did someone lose a key? It, it's me. I'm the key. What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. We flipped the switch to change the trajectory of the water. Let's go ahead and put out that fire. God, it's burning so brightly. Gotta say, best looking fire in the business. Suck it alone in the dark. We've got better graphics than you do. Is Alone of the Dark still relevant? I know they keep trying to come out with games to salvage what's left of the franchise, but it never seems to work. Funny that. Just a leisurely stroll past the helicopter. Hello, my good sir! You seem to be clearing it out exceptionally well! Far better than I would have. I'll see if I can do the trick. Right about here. Okay. And let's see if it works. Yes, it worked! That is a hilarious trick. <laughs> you can actually trick Mr. Mr. X's AI in order to go to the place you used to be. I think it has to do with his positioning as he's coming in within proximity, and also as he's coming through the door. Basically, when he's close to you, he'll think, okay, he's right there in the corner, I can get him. And as soon as he comes through the door, if you're not there, he'll still go towards that position, which is hilarious. I'm glad I was able to do that. It's such a silly little nothing thing that I wanted to show, and I'm so happy I was able to. Excuse me, sir. Jeez. Okay. We came here originally. Time to actually clear this place out. And that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to clear out basically everything. We've got all the keys. We know where to go. We can get the mechanical parts, and what a way to die! Looks like he was running away from the window. Sheesh. Ooh, okay, cool. Second floor waiting room. Got a new combo. Free items. Nice. Lovely. So, in other scenarios, you would find a liquor in here, and in fact it used to be in this room and would bust through to the other room. But we don't have to do that. He's just not here. I guess in this context, it was just a regular zombie attack? But that doesn't explain the broken glass. I guess it's okay. Maybe the liquor's off doing his own thing, I don't know. This place is entirely optional. The only reason you come here is for the last button for the weapons locker, but also for a fun easter egg. It didn't happen there, and that's unfortunate, but that's because I did it wrong, and I know that now for future reference. He's still stomping around around there. So... It, oh! Hello! I was just about to talk about you! What's going on, Mr. X? There is a fun Easter egg if you can actually have Mr. X within the same vicinity as you while going through this hallway here. But the kicker is that you have to have the lights on in the press room. It, oh, he's coming faster. In the original Resident Evil 2, you were able to have Mr. X burst through this exact hallway, and in the remake, it is rare, I'll grant you that, so it doesn't work every time, but you can actually make that scene again here in the remake. The stipulations are you have to have the lights on in the press room, and Mr. X needs to be in this vicinity. If he is... He will bust through the wall and give you a nice scare, but also a shortcut to the front part of the police station. It's great. Yeah, I didn't think I did it right. In fact, I don't even have the lights on in the press room, so I'm not, not sure why I thought it would work. Here's a visual example of what that Easter egg looks like. It's pretty much exactly the same, but it's nice to have a cool shortcut. Alright, it looks like he is gone. He has vanished from the ether. Yeah, I don't even hear his footsteps. Holy cow, he actually vanished. Okay. Speaking of Mr. X, I've been posing a lot of questions here in this Let's Play because general curiosity, and I haven't seen any places where we have confirmed answers. But I was reading an article by PC Gamer, and I got an answer to two questions that I've had about this game, and those I've actually posed to you, go figure, they were all in a different article. 
Ooh, muzzle brake for the Matilda. We get to add on more to the gun I'm not using. Great. Oh. Okay, cool. I'm uh, sorry, I'm listening for Mr. X as I'm running through the police station. There was a question of mine when this game began because I was used to, you know, scenario A interacting with scenario B and it being one complete story. And then as I was going through Remake the first time, I realized that's not how it's going. It's completely different. So I got curious, are there multiple Mr. X's? There are not. There is only one in the remake. There is only ever one. In the original, it looked like there were multiples that could have been dropped into Raccoon City. But even then, there was only one. And go figure, Resident Evil Survivor tried to add extra context and lore to this. But for the sake of the remake, there is only ever one. Now, within that question and answer for the interview, it also answered another question. What's the timeline here? Do the two scenarios add up to one complete story, or is every scenario its own story individually? They're a parallel world story. That's why every single scenario deals with only one Mr. X. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad we got the questions answered. You want to know the sad part about finding out the answers to this, though? <laughs> I've had this interview clip in the folder for Let's Play to bring up later, and I totally forgot I clipped it ages ago! <laughs> I'm glad I was finally able to shed some light on that to the questions that I personally had and had an answer to in my folder. I amaze me sometimes. No way. There's no way. There is a way. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. You win. I didn't think you would take a full route and go directly where I needed to be, but it's fine. I can run away from you. I don't like to. Oh, he's speeding up. Yeah, I decided not to shoot his hat off this time because I kind of want to have a leisurely time going through here. Not to say I'll get my wish, but I can hope. Going to have to change my routing just a little bit. The main thing I want to try and do is get him far enough away to where I can do probably one of the most difficult parts of Leon's campaign, A or B, take your pick, because uh, liquors have shown up. Hi... I'm gonna have to try and kill you because, oh, liquors at this point. See, Mr. X with zombies, not that difficult. You can kind of avoid zombies. They might lunge at you, but that's fine. And sometimes if you're getting grappled, Mr. X will just punch you out of the zombie's grapple. You'll take a lot more damage, but it is funny where he goes, my turn. But Mr. X with liquors, liquors are already violent as hell and... You have to walk if you don't want to aggro them, but you can't walk because Mr. X can run. <laughs> I think the Lickers know they're alpha if they're not attacking Mr. X, but they'll attack you at a moment's notice. All right, we get all the free items here. We actually get some extra inventory as well. Go ahead and uh, input a couple codes here just to unlock everything. Got some gunpowder, we got a knife, we got inventory. I'd say this was extremely beneficial to come here. It was on my to-do list anyway, but nice that I can do it. There we go, and I actually can't remember what the other ones are. Still, free stuff. Come on, man. Okay, I think it's 208. He just walked into the hallway where that liquor was. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sneak around here... And hopefully he doesn't come into this room, otherwise it's going to be terrible. That'll start one hell of a chain reaction. I think he's gone. Yeah, I don't hear footsteps. I do have one headphone off of one of my ears, so maybe he's just stomping on the left side of the RPD. I barely hear him. Okay, I think he's far enough away. 
you need to perish. It's nothing personal, friend. It's just you're going to be in my way. I normally take care of this liquor that shows up in the main hallway, because this is a huge junction to get to a bunch of different parts of RPD. But I shouldn't say a bunch of different parts. It's just easier in the long run, and of course he shows up. Hold on a sec! I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I really hope that liquor died, otherwise this is gonna suck! He did die! Yes! Woo! Okay. Home free. Well, still got a couple places to go, but at the very least I can, you know, take a breath. What's up, loser? You know he can actually still hit you? Even though that door right there, the doorway I should say, is a huge invisible wall, if you're still standing there like a doofus, he can still swing at you. <laughs> I always thought that was really funny. It's a, you know, you fuck around and find out, mate. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, readjust everything. We got some film to develop, and we're actually close to that locker, so even more free items. You'll love to see it. DCM, Devil Cries, maybe. All right, looking good, looking good. We don't have too much left here in the RPD. The main thing is to uh, get to the records room. Uh, we'll hit up the third floor as well just to get that locker. But it's mainly the records room, and then we can head up to the clock tower. That's the main objective. Now, uh, on purpose, I took a little extra time moving around my items because I wanted Mr. X to go up the right side. He is now going up to the other floors because he still can't find us. And I did that on purpose because we need to hit up the records room, one of the one of the most evil places in Leon scenario. And you wouldn't think that, but if you boarded up the windows, it's not as bad. If you didn't board up the windows, it's a fucking nightmare. To put it bluntly, Oh my god, I have never seen a place with more death and destruction. Did he really catch up to me already? There's no way. So around this point, you have two liquors that show up in this hallway. That's great. Again, if you're running for Mr. X, hell on earth. But if you didn't board up the windows, you would have zombies everywhere in this hallway. It's a headache and a half, but thankfully... We're good. We've used the club key. We don't have to worry about anything else. But what's interesting about this is, uh... If we go fast enough, we might be able to avoid Mr. X keying in on our location. Because the longer you're in here, the more he knows... Got him. Got him in my sights. But because I let him go far enough away... I don't hear him. That's perfect. He must have gotten caught on the third floor or something because normally he would come. S Never mind. No, wait, he's on the second floor. If he's not on the second floor, he has to be on the third, and that is the best situation, honestly. Okay. That's a majority of RPD taken down. Got a couple more items, but we'll have to do that a lot later. Let's go ahead and hit up the third floor. We'll grab that locker. And then we will grab... Uh... Oops! 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 I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I forgot! I forgot! Oh, God! Okay. So, you remember those liquors that were in that hallway? The one we were just in? Yeah, as soon as you walk in and say hello, you know, give your pleasantries, give them a nice wave... They become alert. And that hallway is connected to this hallway. They come sprinting towards you. Now, as soon as you reach the stairs, uh, it, just to be safe, get on the second floor before you start running again. But that is mean. That's a beginner's trap, and I totally forgot that they are still connected to the hallway. My bad. 
But yeah, essentially what we're going to do here is grab this. We're going to use the tool and we'll be in the clock tower. Easy peasy. <laughs> Five magnum bullets, yay! Okay, there isn't a liquor up here. I guess I must have mistook that there is a liquor up here! Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he came through a hole in the wall! Okay! <laughs> I forgot there's a hole in the wall! Oh, you fell too? Seriously? Get out of my way! <laughs> Shit has officially hit the fan! There, eat that! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone from bad to worse! Oh no! You don't like to see that! Suck on this, nerd! Ha! Ah! Hold on, I need to get downstairs quickly! <laughs> that was so stupid! <laughs> First the liquor shows up, and then a zombie gets a hold of me, and then Mr. X just... Pile drives me as soon as I try to run out of the door. Wow, what a cock up cascade that was. And the best part is, I did that so quickly, Mr. X lost me. No way! This is why I pre plan before I have to do this shit later. Because I did that, I didn't have to spend extra time moving these bookcases, and we're good. <laughs> you know? I've been going through past series to find shorts to put onto the channel. That might be a short. Oh, please? Okay, good. Very surprised that first one did blow his head off, but then again, this shotgun kind of sucks in its current state. Okay. Safe. At least for now. Yay, we made it to the clock tower. <laughs> that was so awesome. Okay, clock tower. So, right here, the second mechanical piece is in here. This is perfect. After we're done with this, there uh, we can open up the shortcut that's here on the third floor. We'll have to go a little bit farther, because Leon, uh, his transition back to his electronic pieces is in the basement. So, th I can't believe I did that. I haven't done that in so long. Uh, I guess my brain is fried, because I got a 1-2-3 punch from every monster available here. There we go. You know, that's actually one thing I kind of miss from the original game's B scenario. You used to have to insert plugs in order to move on and fight your first boss when you got to the underground. And the fourth one was located in the clock tower, which you had to activate in order to get the last piece. In that one, you had a dust chute that you could go down that was a shortcut. And I always thought that was brilliant. That's that's some grade A game design right there. It's like, so if the player has everything, they could just take a shortcut down to the boss? Okay, cool, bet. That's such a good idea, but here, it is good to get more acquainted with RPD and to unlock all the shortcuts. I don't have to write a report on this. Do -do 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 -do. You know, I think I mentioned this when we did Claire A. But what on earth would have happened if the piece didn't fall? Like, would Leon just throw his arms up and go... <laughs> what do I do now? Maybe by then he would just shoot the thing and hope to God it would fall. I know the bell fell and took all the boards with it, so there's no possible way it would have stayed up there. But there's always that thought, what happens if it just fails? Alright. We are golden. Just need to make it back. Gotta beat up this zombie that's going at half the FPS. Because of rendering distance. I don't know why I'm wasting 
bullets like this. Maybe because I want to look cool in front of my peers, all the people who are watching this, just be like, Watch me shoot this guy from clear across the way! That zombie took a vacation, man! Please? Please? There we go. Alright, fine, I'll stop trying to look cool. Shish. All our pre-planning gave us an advantage. Don't have to deal with any zombies. Wonderful. Is he seriously here? Yeah, I hear him. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Did he? Did he follow me from the shortcut? I think he did. Oh my god. He's hot on my trail. Unfortunately, he'll lose me here in a second. Did those zombies ever respawn, by the way? No, they didn't. Okay, cool. Alright, I think we're home free. Should just be a quick run. Just uh, double-checking on zombies here, because I am running low on supplies. That's okay, though. Nice! We made it! it oh, right. I never did kill you. Oh, I missed! Oh, I goofed it! Okay, well, I, I'd rather lose a knife than any more ammunition, but I will try to kill it because it pissed me off and I want my knife back. By the way, uh, those zombies finally tried to come through the window. And I called it. It's the exact two windows I thought they would come through. That was an... Honestly, that was a pretty easy bet. Not gonna lie. Okay. We're good. Right? Finally? Just need to get the other mechanical part and we're good to go. Free reload on the Matilda. Uh, should have been... It, oh, it's a stock. Never mind, it didn't actually reload it. I'm a silly goose. But, uh, yeah, because I've been goofing around, I actually have to pay attention and shoot things with the Matilda. Let's go ahead and get these things ready. Again, it's the small details that make me smile in these games. The fact that you can actually move these boxes all around, and you can hear the item rummaging around loosely inside them. It's a good effect. Okay, just have to avoid an entire group of dogs. What is a group of dogs called? A pack? Like a wolf pack? Maybe. A whole collection of dogs. A smorgasbord of puppers! Just need to get past them or we're home free! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, there's more! Where did you bitches come from? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Alright, just keep serpentining. We can make it, Leon. We can do it! Just imagine seeing a cop do this. <laughs> they can't get me if I'm going in a serpentine pattern! Okay, we're good. Sorry. <laughs> that, just, that was just extremely goofy. Puzzle time! I love me some puzzle time. Sorry, I thought I heard something violent outside of a cage coming after me. Doesn't matter which order you put these in, but the puzzle is very specific. This is different from Claire's, uh, from Claire's solution. The A and B scenarios have different solutions. So, cool. Double the puzzle, double the fun. This one, if you can beat it in, let me count here, in ten moves, or, well, I guess you can't do it less. If you can do it in ten moves, you get an in-game achievement. I believe you also get an achievement achievement, which is great. Basically, you turn the wires, keep them moving, and try to loop it around until it gets to the power supply down there in the bottom corner. Oh, we got it. Easy every time. We also turn the power on. Yay! about the orphan. 
orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship Umbrella set up. <laughs> Come on, that nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Where did you hear about this? And that big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are yeah. you gonna talk to me? Or are you gonna? The interview's over. <laughs> Bitch. Hmm. What are they after? I always enjoy games that can do multiple things at a time. That added extra context to Claire's scenario, as well as Leon's scenario, and the overall story. Codename Tyrant. I think we know what Mr. X is now. Yeah, he's here to kill anything that's still alive. Any potential witnesses? Oh, that's terrible! Oh, who had this activate automatically? Well, thankfully, you could just go through here. Not gonna lie, my first time playing through this, I decided to tank it through. Oh, come on! Give me a break. Yeah, exactly, Leon, give me a break. I tried to tank it through the zombies because I totally missed that there was a separate section here on the side. So, uh, yeah, please don't run through zombies. You're gonna have a bad time. Ooh, they are fast, though, so be careful. You do have a Mr. X on your back. Oh, my God! Oh, he pushed me forward. That's very kind of him, actually. You know what? That worked out great. Thanks, Mr. X. That's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you gotta kill me. Nothing dies down here. She said the line, yay! Nothing ever dies down here. We might want to open the shutter. I love that Mr. X is essentially a slasher movie villain. Just doesn't stay down. The only thing you could do is incapacitate him. That's just fantastic. And you know, if Ada hadn't taken him out via truck, he would have actually shown up to try to beat us up. Amazing. I don't want to interrupt, but I love the detail that you are in fact hearing the audio file in real time because Ada is listening to it. They didn't have to do this small detail, but they did. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? Yes! Yeah, well, someone's gotta get word to the authorities. We need reinforcements to save this city. Oh! Man, potholes are getting crazy! Road's out. Ugh. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. But, but Ada! My favorite shop! Mikhail's Pierogies is over there! It's my favorite referential restaurant! 
I'm not actually sure if that's a proper reference to Resident Evil 3. I just thought it was a funny coincidence. What a mess. Oh. I wonder if he has President's Daughter ammunition. <sighs> this place has quite a few items, so if you are low on ammo, be sure to pick it up. But also it has this sweet beauty. Oh my god, the ability to make my shotgun actually worth a damn? Thank you! It also helps out your capacity, so that's great. Hmm. What's this? So let's trust that you can take care of yourself. Still, if things get worse, other arrangements don't work out. I don't know where to find me. Jill Valentine! This was an update after Resident Evil 3 Remake came out. They added this little connection to both games, 2 and 3, and gave you an achievement for it if you found the extra document. That is icing on the cake, my friend. That is great for the player. Don't move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. What they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was a sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. May not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. <laughs> 